As generative AI continues to reshape the business landscape, what initiatives should leaders pursue today to ensure their business will thrive in the future? Well, joining me today is David Harrington, a strategy and AI leader at EY Port Jackson Partners, and Su Yon Kim, EY Career Consulting AI leader. What advice would you give to companies as they integrate AI into their business operations and strategies? This is the most transformational technology we are going to see in our lifetime, I would say. There is a lesson in that. You can only accelerate your learning by diving in, having a go. So being bold in your thinking, not just about the incremental, but the transformational. Our experience is that about 98% of value in each sector is going to be captured by the one or two leaders who embrace these technologies. They start to ask questions around, well, what should our AI strategy be overall and how are we going to capture value from different types of AI? So being bold is actually important. What does the future hold for human-machine collaboration and how should companies prepare their workforces for this? AI is also about enhancing the value of human expertise by enabling humans to focus their time and energy into creating even more valuable work. This is done by basically letting AI deal with the relatively tedious tasks. For example, by applying generative AI to scan news, data, and so forth, companies can dramatically optimize and reduce the time needed to generate new reports and briefs, securing more time for strategic thinking. It's not so much about artificial intelligence, it's around augmented intelligence. And it's an important distinction because the reality is that the technology doesn't solve the problems in and of itself. It's people working with technology that are able to create innovation and change um, the fortunes of companies. Thank you so much for those great insights, David and Su Yon. Thanks, Sharanjit. It's been really good to be here. Thank you for having us today.